Greetings all, Frog here. It's time for the Friday update from the pond for the 11th of November 2016. Happy Singles Day to all of my Chinese viewers. Happy Pocky Day to my Japanese viewers. It's Pepero Day in South Korea. It's National Education Day in India. It's Republic Day in the Maldives. Women's Day in Belgium. Of course, at 11-11, it's the opening Carnival or Fasching in Germany, the Netherlands, and everywhere else. Cartagena achieved its independence today. Also Angola in 1975. And of course, it's Remembrance Day and Veterans Day, also called Armistice Day. Oh, and let's not also forget National Independence Day for Poland. So there you have it. Other interesting things in, that happened on uh, November 11th? Thought you'd never ask. Of course, obviously, we, we know that it was uh, Armistice Day, the end of the First World War, <clears throat> theoretically. It is also the uh, defining date of the Fourth Lateran Council, which defined the doctrine of transubstantiation, which all Catholics know is the process whereby bread and wine transform into the body and blood of Christ. How? It's a mystery. Mayflower Compact, Mayflower Compact was also signed this day in 1620. Let's see, uh, other good stuff. Um, integral calculus was demonstrated for the first time today in 1675 to find the area under the curve of y equals f of x. Uh, let's see, what else has gone on? The first fr college fraternity, the Flat Hat Club, is founded in Raleigh Tavern in Williamsburg, Virginia, 1750. There's a bunch of different battle stuff, but yeah, I don't really care about any of that. Uh, the state of Washington, admitted as the 42nd state of the United States in 1889, of course. 1911, if you'll recall, was a great, uh, a great blizzard. And on November 11th, actually, the record high and the record low was set in many Midwestern U.S. towns. Um, Charles I of Austria abdicates in 1918. Tomb of the Unknown, dedicated by Warren Harding. It's not the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Common mistake. Too many unknowns. Uh, there's one in Australia that was also dedicated on November 11th. Not much of a surprise, truly. And um, there was, let's see, what else was there? There's something interesting. Uh, Gemini 12 is launched. That was cool. I already mentioned Angola. Oh, right. The Church of England in 1992 on November 11th allows uh, votes to allow women to become priests. Very interesting. And in 1999, the Horse House of Lords Act was given the royal assent. So you could only be in the House of Lords by hereditary peerage. So there you go. Any famous births on November 11th? Alfonso VIII of Castile. 1155, we all know him. Henry IV, one of the HREs. Nobody else really huge that I can see so far. Oh, Dostoevsky, of course. Born in 1821, died 1888. 1881, excuse me. Uh, Crime and Punishment is his big title. I recommend it if you haven't read it. It's quite good. General Patton was born this day in 1885. What else we got? This all happened, by the way, because I couldn't remember what the uh, the British name for Veterans Day was. So I looked it up, and it's, Rem it's Remembrance Day. But all this other stuff was going on. <laughs> mm, no. I mean, I don't know. I'm in the 1920s so far. Of course, it's only 11 days until my birthday. So don't forget. It's a beautiful time. I will be three years old. I'm in the 30s here. Nothing really jumping out at me. Probably some international people would, would recognize some of these. Oh, Fuzzy Zeller was born this day in 1951. Of course, an American golfer of some renown. Won a couple of tournaments. A very famous Schwarzenegger was born today, 1959. It's Christian Schwarzenegger, the Swiss criminologist and academic. Stanley Tucci was born in 1960. Demi Moore, 1962. Wow. Did not realize that. Calista Flockhart was born. 64? 
Jeez! I never would have pegged her at 52. It's crazy. David Cook, 1968. John B., 1974. Leo DiCaprio, same year. There's a lot of famous people born on the 11th. Well, I mean, you figure it's about Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Stephen Hunt, the English footballer, was born in 84. John Batiste, 86. Wow, he's young. Mark Sanchez, another American footballer. Thought I said Yaya Tori for a second, but no. Yuji Togoshi, quite different. Emma Blackery, it's your birthday today, Emma Blackery. Well, get out of Dodge. You are also very young. I'll send over a nice little mo note to wish you a, a happy birthday. You cannot escape from this. The frog has noticed you. Six minutes into my channel update video, by the way, as I'm going through everything that's important for 2000, uh, for, for November 11th. But there you go. I actually, I follow Emma Black. I, I watch a lot of her stuff um, because she doesn't tolerate a lot of shit. And it looks like she goes through some of the same things that I go through mentally in terms of... Uh, uh, and depression and self-doubt and all of that stuff. Plus, she's she's decent at singing. She's funny. She kicks ass. And she's kind of cute. So, you know, if you got all that going for you, why not? I, I highly recommend it. If you don't follow her, I I would. But happy birthday to you. You know, she'll never she'll never watch this. But happy birthday. Anyway, let's get into the channel update, huh? This is what I've done so far. The only thing left is the GeoGuessr, and uh, I'm a little worried about Saturday's episode, to be honest with you, because I'm going to the football match tonight. Um, Mexico and the United States in Columbus, and it's the first game of the Hacks. So I'm I'm very much interested in this, and it, I stumbled on these tickets. I didn't think it was going to happen, but thanks to some work connections, I will be there, uh, sitting basically at the half uh, in the second deck. So if you see me on, on TV, wave, say hi, and uh, in, enjoy, because uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this. I, I love I love football, and I I think the Americans have a, have a good shot of getting into the World Cup again in uh, Russia, and I think that it starts right here at home, and another dos a zero would be, would be quite good to see. So because of that, I'm going to be home late tomorrow, which means I may not get to the Saturday GeoGuessr done on time, but we'll see. Hopefully I can, and uh, we'll go from there. But other than that, you can see it's basically done. So Saturday morning, I'll be able to record the normal stuff and go to uh, cabs Saturday evening, and then Sunday I'll have all day to record as well because the wife will be at work. So it will be... Um, a, a very good start for next week. GeoGuessr's been going very well. Um, Mr. Beard of Bread basically took the week off from the subreddit, which is perfectly understandable. So we have filled in with some other things. On Tuesday, we did the um, Photosphere of Doom challenge, which was kind of nice. And Thursday, what, the, what, what did we do on Thursday? I don't remember. That doesn't help. I need GeoGuessr. And down at the bottom, boom. We did... Uh... Oh yeah, just a plain old uh, three-minute world challenge. I haven't done one of those in a while. We did a plain old three-minute world challenge. Um, subtitle, Don't Cry For Me, right? Which by now you've watched it, so you understand why. Or if you don't, then you clearly don't know the hit uh, Broadway musical Evita. Otherwise you would you would have been on there. Uh, we will, of course, be doing The Great White North on Saturday, also known as uh, the destination most looked up, at, looked up by Americans, enough to crash the immigration website for the entire country. I'm not going to talk to politics on this, by the way. If you're looking for my view on that, this is not the place. But I will upload a video at some point because it directly relates to the launching of my next channel and one of the big ideas of something I wanted to do. And I will speak to it directly, but it will be more of a vlog type thing rather than part of the channel update. So um, that's all I'm going to say about it right here. If you watch the live stream, if you need more of the politics, head over to the live stream for recording from Tuesday. It will go live tonight. Um, or actually, no, I, I already scheduled it. I can put that. I forgot. It's scheduled. It went up on, on Thursday night, so it's already live, even by the time I record this, because it is it is actually Friday. Um, so check it out if you like politics. Plus, if you like The Binding of Isaac, check that out, because a lot of really good things happen on the stream. Here's your warning. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm a real Platinum God. So I got real Platinum God on the live stream on Tuesday. Um, the episode on Thursday was before that. The episode on Sunday is after that. So uh, the only thing I have left is Immaculate Conception. I just have to get a lot of angel deals and get Immaculate Conception, and um, we'll be good to go. That's basically where that runs. 
and will be 1,001% and just in time for Afterbirth Plus, which I'm very excited about. So that's what we've been doing in Afterbirth, actually, is just trying to get 1,001% and we're getting a lot closer. CK2 is starting to wind down. We only have about 130 years left in the game, and honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to unite the British Isles in that time. We're going to keep trying, but it's it, it gets it's getting very frustrating. Um, just from a speed standpoint, because there's so many people in the game, and I'm playing in the old version, so it's not really optimized. So it's slowing down, then, of course, the Sunset Invasion and everything. So I don't know. We'll, we'll keep playing for a little bit, but every time I go to play it, I, I'm playing it first on Saturday to get it out of the way. I mean, that's exactly how I feel about it. Like, man, let's just get this out of the way, suck it up, do it, and get it done, and then we'll move on. And that's not how I want to play. So I think, actually, what I'm going to play next is what you hear right now, which is Stellaris. I think I'm going to put Stellaris back on. Um, the channel for that and um, people have been asking for city skylines I do want city skylines to come back to the channel but I think what that's gonna happen is more like a like a um, one or two hour live stream type event so not the full purple frog live experience but the just a, a live stream of playing that game um, where we just relax play some play some of that basically is, is how it all boils down to it so we'll see we'll give that a go and um, but for now, you know, that's that's what's happened here. Uh, Factorio hands-free and Factorissimo, you can see they're all recorded. The only reason that they're not, actually, they are now all rendered as well. Um, I've been having troubles that the renderer is uh, freezing ever since I, I upgraded to 16.04. So um, I can only get a few videos at a time, and sometimes you have to cross your fingers or whatever. So as I, as I can upload them, I upload them. But you have to wait and hope that it doesn't freeze somewhere in there. And it's not the same. It's different every time. It's different videos every time. It's just, um, I think there's a, an error in, in Melt, and it hasn't been upgraded yet. So I just keep planning upgrades and putting them in there and hoping. And, and it'll, it'll stabilize itself a little more. I'm not that worried about it. But it just means a little, little extra time is, is required, which is fine. So those are all done. We're up there. I'm, I'm having having a lot of fun. Um, the hands-free is uh, it's not winding down yet, but it's getting closer to it. Um, they're both actually getting kind of close to their cycles. So um, what I will tell you is planned next is the uh, the next start will be a factorissimo with Bob's mods, and we'll we'll do very specific factories that do one thing. So, like in this one, I have factories that do a bunch of things, but the factories in, in that one will, will do one thing. Then I have, uh, in the back of my mind, Baby Plague Angel's Oars. I don't know, though. It's uh, it's kind of tricky. One of the things that was annoying about Factor Factorio this week is in the hands-free campaign, that's the, the Steam version, and they pushed uh, not point fourteen on you, whether you wanted it or not. And I was like, okay, not point fourteen, not a bad idea, so that's fine, we'll just do it, and I'll, I'll upgrade. And what happened then is that the Bob's mods broke, the inserters went haywire, because he changed them in between uh, Logistics mod, um, his not point thirteen point four and not point thirteen point six, And you had to do a migration mod in between them. Well, I didn't know that. Like, why would I know that? I've just been playing... Bob's mods. I'm not really following it on the stream because it worked for me and I wasn't upgrading the versions. I was just using what I had. And so I had to go back and replace every long inserter I had ever placed. It was awful. I mean, it was really, truly awful. Um, and I still, even, even to this one that goes live today, I'm still finding ones that I missed. And it's possible because um, I think it was... Um, I think Orange was commenting on Wednesday's video, maybe, about one other one that he found. Well, I'd already recorded these two when he said that. So I'm still going to be finding these stupid inserters forever. But that's, I guess that's just how it flows. And, and that's that's how it works. And you just deal with it. But it is kind of slightly annoying. I'm just clicking to click because I like, and my mouse is in my hand. Oh, don't do that. How did that happen? Oopsie. Okay. Uh, that's That's this week. Next week. More of the same, because I'm enjoying it, so why would we change it? The only thing that might change is Lothian, but I don't know. We'll go through and we'll see. We'll be back with Bearded Brad, of course, on Tuesday and uh, Thursday, hopefully. His challenges are a lot of fun. We'll do the normal viewer challenges and Factorio hands-free and Factorissimo. And I'm just going to keep doing these, and eventually when I decide, okay, this series is done, we'll just start the next one right away the next day. There's not going to be any break in Factorio. We're just going to play Factorio. Are we going to do two series at once? I don't know, because I am enjoying Factorio, so we'll see. But um, for now, we'll just leave it that way. When Afterbirth Plus hits, I will play that as an entire thing across the board because that's what I enjoy. And of course, we will be live streaming next Tuesday, the 15th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. You can find that on YouTube and also on Twitch because we'll simul we're simulcasting. 
I am getting ready for the concepts for the new channel. Like I said, I'm going to launch a new channel on the in January. And don't worry, it will not uh, majorly impact this uh, this channel. I will tell you that some things are going on in life right now that that are kind of messing around with my free time. Some things are adding it, some things are taking it away, and it's kind of a net wash right now. So I think the channel will be the same, but it is possible I might have to cut back to three videos um, at the beginning of 2017, not because of the second channel necessarily, but because of all my other commitments outside of that, because I don't plan on doing a ton of new work for the second channel. Um, it won't be anything like this. It's not gonna be like a four video a day, every day kind of thing. It's not gonna be a gaming channel. Um, it's gonna be much more of a, of a FaceTime type podcast ish channel. And I'm gonna get some friends who have already expressed interest in, in helping out. So it's not just gonna be me, it'll be a bunch of people who will be essentially part of this new network of channels, but it's really just one channel. It's not like a channel network, you know what I mean? So they'll be posted on there and, and, and we'll go um, along there as it will. But that's really all I have for this week. Hopefully uh, things are going well for you. If the election in America did not go the way that you had hoped, hopefully, you know, you can, um, I don't want to say rise above because that's not what I mean, but that you can overcome your grief, you can work through the stages, and that we can get back to work and making this country a better place because obviously now we need to work harder uh, than ever. And I just want you to know that I've been through those stages as well and in some ways still processing, but you will always have an ally here. This channel is always going to be a home for people of all sorts of, of sizes, shapes, colors, creeds, because um, that's my philosophy, right? It's about life. It's about having a good time. It's about being uh, kind and good to your other people and having open and honest dialogues and communications. So keep that here. Thank you for uh, all the subscribers who are doing what you're doing and keeping the comment sections to be positive places for constructive criticism and comments and information. I think that we have a great comment section. Granted, we are small, so obviously the larger we get, the bigger chance there is that there will be some negativity heightened in, but hopefully all of you here that have helped create the foundation will continue to to do good works and help me to police the area and keep it as a positive space for anybody and everybody to come in and enjoy some gaming here of, of those types that I do. If you would like to help contribute to the channel and you're not sure how, well, you can go over to patreon.com slash purplefrogplace. Every contribution is greatly appreciated. That dollar uh, contribution, that lowest level, is uh, better than a thousand page views over here on YouTube. So watch the videos for free over here. Go over there and, and pledge a dollar a month. It's $12 a year. You can't go to a 3D movie for $12. So, I mean, you're going to be better than that. At a 3D movie, you're going to get three hours of a long movie if you're lucky. Realistically, it's going to be 90 minutes to two hours and 15 minutes of a movie. Whereas on this channel so far this year, I've already put out, um, well, let's see, it's the 316th day of the year right now. So um, that's 1,260 videos at an average of 20 minutes a piece. Granted, some of them are longer, but if you're looking at, at that, let's just, uh, let's just do the math on that one. I was so close to doing it in my head, but 1,260 times 20, that's equals 25,000 minutes. That's uh, 420 hours of videos that have been put out this year. I think $12 a month is, is a reasonable expectation for that if you would like to do so. Um, because when you figure that that $12 for, and it's gonna be more than 420 minutes, obviously, but let's just say five minutes to make the math easy. You know, you're looking at 24 cents a video or 24 cents a, an hour for the, the rate. You know, it's not exactly high. And then, of course, if you go higher than that, you get better perks. $2 gets you on the website. $3 gets you into the um, end credits. $5 is the monthly call, which I think actually for this week, this month, might be on Saturday or Sunday. Keep keep your eyes posted. If not, it'll be next Sunday, the 19th. 14, 16, 8, 14, 16, 18, 20th on the 20th. Uh, would be when we were looking at, at doing that, possibly. So keep an eye out on you Patreon subscribers. And if you are a $10 subscriber, you get to play a video uh, a video game. Uh, PJZ, you have actually asked me about that. I haven't gotten around to answering that on the Patreon because I keep forgetting. But uh, basically, just send me a private message over YouTube or Facebook and um, or even an email to frog at purplefrogplays.com and we will um, we'll work it out. Whatever you want to play, uh, when it fits into our schedule, we'll play it. Whatever that might be. Whether or not you want it to be recorded and broadcast is completely up to you, but it's kind of like a, a private moment for you. We'll play, I don't know, a couple hours of whatever you want. Um, probably not much more than, than, than two or three hours, though, to, to be fair, um, because I just don't have a lot of free time for that. But I do, I do have free time at least to give you that kind of chunk. So 
Um, and those are monthly fees. And again, if you pay $120 a year for this service, you're getting, you know, like I said, 420 hours so far this year at a minimum. It's actually more than that. And then in addition to it, you get, um, probably, I'd say 500 hours of stuff for $120. That's still less than $4 an hour. It's better than going to the movies. I'm just saying. And then you get the bonus of being able to play games with me and getting to be part of the planning call. So all that stuff is there if you, if you want to do it. That's enough of my ad. I haven't done it in a while. That's why I did that. I've just done the short version of it. So if you didn't realize I had a Patreon, there it is. It's patreon.com slash purplefrogplays. Of course, you can find us on this schedule every day on YouTube. And I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus as well. For now, though, we're going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.